Hello and welcome to Bahrain Guitars and Ukuleles. Uh, welcome to my channel and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to string up a classical guitar which has an 18 hole bridge. They can be a little uh, intimidating or incomprehensible if you <laughs> are new to them but they're actually very straightforward and they are they yield the most elegant result, I think. As you can see with this Brazilian rosewood bridge with 18 hole, the it's a self-locking mechanism. And uh, what happens, and one of the great benefits of it, apart from the self-locking thing, is you only get one line of string uh, over this area of the bridge instead of the, the many wraparounds that uh, you have to endure. Uh, with an, a typical six hole classical bridge. I'm going to be stringing uh, four strings, the, the bottom four strings, and uh, by the time you watch all four of those, uh, you should have it in your memory. So uh, here we go. So here we have a 18 hole bridge. Uh, the holes are grouped into three. So well, each string is grouped into three, which was just circled. The main hole where the string is going to eventually be fed all the way through to the headstock is the middle hole, the main hole. It's a little bit larger sometimes. Uh, and that has the string going to the headstock. On the treble side of the main hole is a little half hole, and that just goes in about an eighth of an inch, three mil. And that is the anchor point, and we'll get to that in a second. On the base side of the central hole is the hole that we thread through the string first. So you thread the string through first with the, the end of the string that uh, you want to be at the headstock. And then you pull that all the way through until there's a little bit left, and then you tuck that end into the half hole and just push that in all the way. And then pull it pretty tight on the treble strings, you can pull them tight. And then feed the headstock end of the string through the central hole. And what that does is lock in that string and it creates a perfect anchor for the string to remain. Did you catch that first one? I hope you did. There's three more to go but uh, if you are enjoying this video and getting something out of it please like and subscribe. Uh, it helps me out and let me know what you think about it in the comments but be nice. <laughs> uh, on to the next strings. So now we'll do the the fourth string, the D string. Feed that string through the base side hole and then put the that string end into the half hole and just pull it tight. The thicker the string, the harder it is to kind of pull tight. And then feed that string in through the center hole and pull it tight. Uh, just a word of which end to use of the string. The string end which has the wounds kind of uh, not wound so tightly, put that end at the headstock end because if you put that end at the saddle end, the winds aren't perfect that go over the saddle and you'll get buzzing. So just pull that tight and just use your finger to press in. Uh, make sure that string remains in that half hole. You want that to be fully uh, buried in the half hole. And pull that, pull it tight and do one string at a time. Uh, string it up at the headstock and you know get some tension on it, otherwise the half hole might pull out. And then just to 
reliterate that was just another shot of the the end that you want at the headstock end. Uh, I use uh, a dentist pick and some pliers to help with the getting the strings through. It's a little bit tricky. So just put that uh, string through the half hole. Uh, don't don't tighten it up all the way. Don't pull it tight all the way for uh, this stage because it can the string can pop out of that half hole. But feed this string now through the center hole. And then kind of with your finger, I tend to push the or hold the string uh, in the half hole and just make sure it stays there while I pull taut the, the main string. And I, these are the little pliers uh, that I use. They're just a, you only need a cheap pair. And the dentist pick that I use, which is the other tool to dig out the end of the string. Uh, there we go. Uh, you can and use, lastly. you know, whatever, a toothpick or something. So last string through the base side hole first. And there's dentist pick and pliers getting them out. And this, because this string's the fattest, it's a, a little bit trickier. So... bend that around. You might need to kind of kink it with your fingers a little bit and shove it in the half hole and then just kind of keep it, use your finger like the other string to hold that string in the half hole as you feed the string through the central hole and pull that tight and then once once you pull that tight then everything is self-locking and uh, will stay that way and as I said before just do one string at a time and uh, tighten it up so here we have an overhead shot of the end result and you can really see how beautiful it looks how elegant it is how simple it is it really is a uh, a nice system, the 18 hole bridge. So thank you for watching. I hope that was of help to you and now you know how to tie an 18 hole classical bridge. Uh, if it was, please like and subscribe and uh, hit the notification button if you'd like to be uh, notified about when I upload a new video about whatever subject. Uh, let me know what subjects you want to hear about in the comments and uh, I'll try and make a video of those to cater for whatever you need to know. Thank you very much and uh, see you next time. Bye. Water sounds. Very relaxing water sounds.